seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. All right, and welcome back. So in this part, we're going to get started modeling the head. Now, the last time I showed you guys how to model Sonic's head, uh, I think we started off with like a sphere, or no, I think we started off following the shape of this curve uh, to get the, you know, this shape up here. We're not gonna worry about that right now. We're actually going to create this mouth area first, and now, I'll show you why, because I figured some cool stuff out that'll help us actually rig his mouth. We didn't rig his mouth in the last tutorial. We're going to rig this entire character, like, entirely, okay? Trust me. So, what we do, Shift-S, Curse to World Origin, Shift-A, make a UV sphere. 32 is fine, shade smooth. Uh, and we want to tab into edit mode, rotate this on the x-axis 90 degrees. And then we can actually rotate on the x-axis about 35-ish more. There we go. Uh, and we can delete this. Boom. Done. Uh, now what we can do is we want to... Um, you know what, we might want to rotate this afterward, yeah, so, we'll delete this section here, we'll come in here, and we'll hit E to extrude on the Y axis inward, and we'll extrude again, right click, S to scale, turn off proportional editing, S to scale, make sure you turn on wireframe so you can see what's going on. Okay, you want to bring that inward. Uh, basically, what we're doing is we're making the mouth. We're making the inside of the mouth here. So Y. Okay. And then uh, you can grid fill this if you want. All right, sick. So. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale these down a bit. All right. And you can bring some of these guys with them. Just a little bit though. So, we have this little mouth area. <laughs> now, what we can do with this, scale it down, and G, bring it up. Make sure you scale it in edit mode. This is fine-ish. Uh, so, in edit mode, rotate it on the x-axis about 35 degrees. That's good. Now, let's bring this up. There we go. That's about right. That's about okay. Uh, and let's move this backward. Okay, cool. Uh, so tab back in the edit mode, rotate this on the x-axis, maybe 20 more degrees. And bring it down. So, what you want to do, you want to make sure that your origin is in the center of your geometry. So select this edge here shift s cursor to selected and then you want to tab back in the object mode go to object set origin origin to 3d cursor 
And there you go. Now, what you can do is with your 3D cursor there, shift A and add another UV sphere. Make this one 12 across. And go to the modifier, not modifier, go to the object data, viewport visibility, wire. And you want to scale this down in edit mode as well. Now, what you want to do is you want to select this here, go to your modifier stack, and click mesh deform. Grab the picker, select the sphere you just made, five dynamic bind. Once it's done, if you tab into edit mode on the sphere that we created that has the wire, if you hit S to scale on any axis, you'll see that the sphere that we first created scales with it, right? So, uh, if you've used Blender at all for uh, an extent, any extended periods of time, you'll you see what I'm getting at here. So, what we're gonna do is we're just going to scale this guy down. And I'm basically going to be using this as my mouth. Well, I'm using this to shape the mouth. Uh, sorry, I went silent there. Basically, what we're doing here is, uh, yeah, I, I, I explained it. We're shaping this. <laughs> we're using the one object that we made to shape the sphere into his mouth. Now, the reason this is important, I'm going to hide these reference images real quick. Okay. Well, all right. I'm going to hide this as well, all right? The reason this is important because this is deforming according to the mesh deform this object's individual rotation hasn't been messed with so when I rotate this object look at what happens to the mouth the mouth goes wherever I rotate it okay guess what this enables us to do as far as mouth animations with them you already know <laughs> we can animate his mouth we can animate his mouth on this side we can animate his mouth on this side we can animate his mouth on every side literally okay and we don't have to destroy the integrity of this area of his mouth that's the important part of what I'm getting at this this shape will be uh, sustained while um, while allowing us to deform the mouth uh, as we need to for the character so that's why we did it like we did it, and now you know for the future, for your future character projects, your future creation endeavors. So, basically, just edit. Now you're going to have to be careful and make sure you do this on both sides because uh, I haven't attempted to work with the mirror modifier uh, with this yet and I'm low-key afraid to so I don't think I will.
but try to be as even as possible. Yeah. So yeah, guys, that's the first part of doing his mouth is just getting getting this shape right. And we've made that extra simple for ourselves <laughs> because of the method we used. So you you know, I've said it before, I'll say it again. You wanna make you wanna make life as easy on yourself as you possibly can while you're creating. As easy on yourself as you can possibly can as you possibly can okay so that's that part so whoops we can actually you know hide that and keep that object around don't delete it hide it don't delete it hide it we're going to need it for when we go back to rigging um, and uh, I'm actually going to take a little bit of a break.